Okay, well, welcome back to Black Swan Outdoors, and welcome back to the series in Emergency Response Kit. In the previous video, we talked about the service kit. Uh, today, we are going to talk about a lightweight travel comms kit. Uh, so some of this gear actually is going to be in my service pack. Some of this gear actually is in my vehicle. Uh, so I like to keep the, the first piece of gear in my vehicle, which is the UV5R uh, uh, Fang radio. And I generally keep this with an antenna mount uh, in the car and the ex external microphone. Um, and so basically this setup stays in my car, gives me uh, the ability to communicate to neighborhood repeaters um, <clears throat> in my car. And then I can take it out of the car as I'm traveling and as needed. To supplement the radio, then I have a whip antenna uh, to give, extend the capacity of that radio just a little bit. And to protect the uh, whip antenna, I have this plastic PVC tube that then you can just keep in the pack. If I need more, um, more of an antenna, um, then I carry this uh, Slim Jim J-Pole. Um, then I can use paracord or whatever. Um, I find that when I'm traveling in a hotel room, I can easily string this up on the curtains uh, near a window. Uh, but this is a great way to kind of just add a little more addition to uh, your radio's capacity, a better antenna. And then to, to increase the capacity of the, of the, of the radio's uh, energy life, I have a battery pack. And this battery pack is rechargeable, uh, so I can recharge the, the batteries on here. Or I can add this battery, uh, which is a little dummy battery, and I can use that then to put in regular AA alkaline battery. So I have kind of two power sources. So I can charge this while I'm driving, uh, I can charge this in my radio kit, which you'll see in a different video. Um, and then I can also add additional batteries to this if I needed to. While we're talking about energy, uh, I have this battery pack that I use. Um, I can keep this charged and I can charge my laptop, uh, my phones, my radios. Pretty much anything that I'm carrying with me can be charged with this unit. Uh, this is 3,000 um, amperage hours on here, and it has the ability to trickle charge solar, so I can leave this out and charge. Now, in most of my travel, I've never needed to use a solar uh, charge capacity. I do have the ability to charge and run all that equipment on cell or solar and uh, deep cycle battery. So this is just a good supplement to that. And then lastly, I have the shortwave radio. Uh, this gives me the ability to listen to monitor to radio stations all around the world, and in particular HF radio stations, so I can listen to ham traffic as necessary. Now, obviously, I can't uh, transceive on this, but I can rece receive everything. Um, so it just makes for a great addition. Uh, you can see a specific uh, blog post on this radio, uh, radio uh, gear review. Uh, in addition to, we talked about this in the Escape and Evasion series as well. To supplement that, I have a pair of earphones. I have the antenna extender as well. And then I have an AM antenna. And then a pouch, a belt pouch to carry the radio if I needed to carry it on my belt. So this all together constitutes kind of my handheld radio travel kit and it supplements my service pack and kind of everyday use as well as travel. 